you now publicly are saying you won't stand for the way Roger Stone is, is treating you. We can put up uh, the tweet. But basically, uh, you allege that, that Roger Stone and InfoWars are being untruthful about you. Why? And defamatory. Defamatory. Big both. charge. I mean, they're both you know, on this whole idea that I had hush money. This started really with Washington Post, I guess, last Friday, circulating saying, coming from the Mueller prosecutors, that I was being paid hush money by Dr. Jones, the father of Alex Jones. The termination letter is available. I published it this morning. It was severance pay. It was not hush money. They were also alleging, Washington Post was saying that uh, I was being paid by the NRA, which is paid by Russia, and that contributed to uh, Infowars. Well, my paychecks had nothing to do with Russia. I've had no contacts with but Russia. But you're here saying Roger Stone should cut it out, and you're saying he's defaming you. I'm he's not saying, saying yes. any of that. I'm saying that's, that's not Roger saying any of that. Well, it, I'm saying that Roger in his broadcast has been defamatory, and I want it stopped. Michael, oh, I think I think Roger says the same thing about you. I mean, I, I've known Roger 30 years, Dr. Corsi, and I, I'm not buying this George Washington act of yours on this. Um, I, a lot of the things you say about Roger, I think, are steering him towards a perjury charge. I also think that uh, uh, it's it's really hurting his reputation and. Uh, I, I really believe that, uh, you know, the things you said about WikiLeaks don't add up, the things you say about Rogers uh, asking you for a memo to back up a, a, a tweet, none of this adds up, and I think Rogers got all the yeah, proof, Mike, emails, texts, um, a metadata to prove it, and, and, it's, and eventually it'll be proven. Matt, that's fine. The fact of the matter is, the reason us three are essentially in there is because of Stone. I okay? get that, I One. get that, but number I don't, two, I, I don't Roger, want Sam finish. Number two, Rogers on Donald Trump. Okay, he's not going to get away with witness tampering. He should shut up. He what, should how, shut what, up. How is he when he goes around and lies and says that he was, I was the only person he told as a joke that he met with Julian Assange. Mm -hmm. Give me a break. You know, give me a break. That was wrong. With that said, my testimony, and this is the irony of it, whatever Roger wants to attack me, my testimony contradicts Jerome Corsi's testimony. I defend what my testimony, what I recall from Roger's infamous or famous tweet with uh, Podesta's was that we were talk was that it lines up with uh, Podesta's work in Ukraine. It had nothing to do with emails. That's a cover story or potentially true defense, depending on your view of why Roger Stone seemed to know about things that proved to be true. That's one defense. You offered another. But you're saying your view is that Dr. Corsi here at the table is the uh, is the informational aggressor and is actually setting up Roger. I'm sorry, Dr. Corsi. That's what I believe. And I believe you're being pushed into it by Mueller. You know, and I, I don't agree with what you're saying about Roger. I believe that Roger's got the evidence to prove that what you're saying is false. But what you just said about, um, you know, the, 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 the pay from Infowars and all that, that's all stuff came out of Mueller, not out of Roger. And, and I think you're putting your old friend in danger. Well, he put us all in danger, by the way, Mike. Uh, okay. Dr. Corsi responds. So, well, I think, I think Roger's been defamatory. I think the things that have been said in the broadcast, I'm very uh, much offended by. And, and um, I'm not going to argue with Roger word for word or you know, issue by issue. Roger's entitled to his own perception, what he perceived. And I can tell you what I perceived. I can't tell you what Roger was thinking. But something has happened. How do we get to the bottom of that, though? I mean, I'm not asking you, Dr. Corsi. How do we get to the bottom of that, of tit for tat, if Roger isn't indicted? How do we get to the bottom of what what, uh, what Jerry's saying versus what Roger's saying? How do we get to the bottom well, of that? Well, I think that's part of what we're doing, part of what we're doing tonight. Uh, you have changed your tune a little bit, because the last time we were here, you didn't say Stone was defaming you. You just no, wanted I, to stay out of it. I, Let me, I want to, for that, I want to play that and then get your response. Oh, this sure. was Go you ahead last ahead. time. Take yeah. a look. I'm not going to get involved in a dispute, dispute, a dispute or debate with Roger Stone. If he wants to say those things, so be it. It's uh, up to him to do it, and if he wants to disparage me, so be it. I'm not going to respond, and I don't intend to engage in that kind of discussion with Roger. And now you are in that discussion. I just showed it. You're accusing him of defaming you. Yes, and it's changed because Roger's intensified his attacks. Since I was here last time and since I'm here tonight, Rogers upped his intensity of attacks on me, and so has Alex Jones. 
and uh, I'm not going to put up with it. We're not going to stay on this forever, but when you talk about Alex Jones this way, you're saying he's also defaming you, right? Yes, he is too. But you worked for InfoWars. Yes, I did. You were, and we can put it on the screen, Washington Bureau Chief for InfoWars. That was my title, and there's a lot that never got funded that I had set up by Alex Jones, never funded it. Well, it's more than a title, sir. This is you uh, yes, touting I'm press credentials. You also wrote, and we'll put it up, all sorts of articles, including about these issues in the FBI and Assange, uh, and, and he's, of course, attacked you. We've got that as well. The bottom line here being you're beefing with your, it's like you're beefing with your own record label. Well, you I'll tell you what. You are in Ari, full wars. Ari, you're their bureau chief. Yes, okay. Uh, you tell us it's all going to be fine because you're not going to get into it with them. Now you're back here and it's all his fault. Well, and before we move on, I want to give you the benefit of that and, and Caputo and then some other questions. Well, Ari, look, I've just, uh, I've just expanded my lawsuit to include Washington Post and Jeff Bezos. Now, next week, I'll be talking with my lawyers to see if I'm going to file a suit against WikiLeaks and Roger Stone. But I'm not, and respectfully, I'm not asking you about your ability to file litigation against a range of right. people. I'm well, asking you, sir, right. why you go from saying, I'm InfoWars, I'm literally their bureau chief, I won't get into it with Roger, and now suddenly InfoWars and Roger are, are the enemy, because, because these are the things that are at issue Ari, in the Mueller probe, which, which you're being accused by him of potentially Ari, felonious lying. Go ahead, sir. Your question is, they've upped their attacks on me. They've gotten much more vicious. And that's, I'm not, when I was here last time, I was willing to tolerate a lot of what Roger was saying. And Roger's been all over the board. I've not wanted to get into a debate with him. I still don't. But if they continue what I consider to be defamation, we're going to take action. Uh, Mr. Caputo. I, I believe that this is what Mueller does. Uh, he drives a wedge between old friends. He destroys relationships in the hopes that, uh, that they'll turn against each other and eventually turn evidence against the President of the United States. I know I would never do that. I know Roger would never do that. I believe none of us would do that. And I, I, I got to tell you, this is, we got, I think we got to change the way the special counsel operates in the future. Well, on that point, that goes to Sam. I'm going to let you in, but mm -hmm. I want to play for you, Sam, you talking initially when you were talking about defying Mueller about Roger Stone as your mentor. You both have also changed your tune. Mr. Caputo is suggesting that's law enforcement's problem. A lot of other people think it means somebody is lying. And if they're lying in the investigation, that's a felony. Here you were initially saying Roger is a friend and you would defend him. Take a look. I'm not going to answer something so wide as this. This is so ridiculous. I'm not going to go into a grand jury for them to set up a case against Roger whatever case it is, which could be ridiculous. You keep saying you don't think there'll be a consequence. What if the well, consequence he, for that is going to jail, Sam? They're not going to send me to jail. You know what, Mr. Mueller, if he wants to send me to jail, he can send me to jail, and then, I, and then I'll laugh. Roger's my mentor. I email Ari with Roger 15 times a day. Okay, they're trying to set up a perjury case against Roger Stone and I'm not gonna have it. Roger's my mentor. Roger is like family to me. But you did go in there and is he still like family to you? After I went in, he sets up a story that I'm the only one that he told that he, that he had met with Assange. It's like similar to the fictional uh, employee he had in 1986, uh, 1996, excuse me. You're saying he was lying about you and trying to pin something uh, with you yeah, as his defense. And, pin something. And, base, and basically, look, in the background, Roger, like in the Trump circle, fine. If you hear that he's uh, bad-mouthing you, I mean, it's par for the course within, you know, within that environment. Uh, to do what he did publicly after the strain that he put me through. I didn't ask him to email me and tell me that he had met with Julian You Assange. don't think he was joking? Well, we can put up... And, yeah. and I don't do it, again, this is part of my job. I don't do it yeah. to, to make it harder for you, but this is what he's saying about you. <laughs> well, and I mean, that, so it shows you Roger's uh, character in that way, too. Listen, he emailed me. I didn't ask him to tell me about his fairy tales about Julian Assange. I didn't ask him. I had warned him not to do Do you that. think he helped the campaign collude? Do I think he helped the camp? I think Roger wishes he colluded. I don't. I think Roger conspired against himself. You think he's a? <laughs> you think Roger Stone is a wannabe colluder? I think that. The, I think that they were uh, ingratiate, trying to ingratiate themselves. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.